Hi guys, this is Android Pipe Coming and I'm here with a game called Asphalt Nitro. It's available for free from Gameloft. It was launched in May this year and it's supposed to be sort of a light version of Asphalt 8 or maybe a precursor to Asphalt 9. Nobody knows exactly. What's for sure is that it's a light game because it only takes up 25 megabytes of space on your handset. It runs on lower end devices and it's quite fun to play. So let's start maybe with a race in China. Why China? Because I like the graphics of this race and the beautiful trees in the background. Some of the cars available here, Alfa Romeo Mito GTA. Apparently I cannot show you the other types of cars, maybe select it before time. Anyway, let's go straight to the race. Here we go. Of course, you got Nitro, you got various types of control, which we're going to enjoy here. There are eight race modes, Classic, Versus, Elimination, Knockdown, Infected, Gate Drift, Catch and Escape. Luckily you also have multiplayer and you can earn stars for various achievements in races. Those stars are needed to unlock future races and uh, types of races. Of course you can upgrade your car. And Game of offer here 5 locations, 14 tracks. You can go to Brazil, China or USA. So I'm tapping the sides of the screen to race. Jumping from ramps like in Asphalt 8. And using the Nitro. Last time to do a perfect nitro every once in a while. Flying through cherry trees. As far as I know there are only two songs in this game, so don't get all excited about dubstep because it's not the case. You can do drifts by pressing the brake button. And longer drifts mean cash and extra points. So I'm fifth out of five. One of the main problems of the game is that it's very hard to control the car when you're doing the nitro and once you hit a wall it's very hard to get back in the race and I do mean very hard it's also very easy to get wrecked and a bit hard to win but with a bit of luck and skill you should be able to do it um, very important aspect here is the shortcut thing if you take the proper shortcuts you should have no problem with winning especially if you don't get wrecked one of the things I liked about the game is the fact that you can knock out your rivals Simply by hitting them when you're doing the night row, so with a bit of luck, I just did a knockdown and at least I won't be dead last. It's a good idea to finish first or at least second to get those stars. Now let's do a crazy stunt. Okay, so the asphalt stunts are here to stay. I have to say the graphics are pretty impressive for a 25 megapixel title. I'm guessing that some of the load is being done on the server side and we're at the finishing line races are only one lap from what I've seen the multiplayer races are a bit longer and check out the graphics here quite good quality the game was intended for lower end devices that's also explained by how little storage it takes up it's compatible with a ton of devices you can take your races to Iceland, the Alps, Brazil, China and USA Okay, you've seen some of the races, this is another of the seasons, this is career mode, we got uh, multiplayer here, we got special championships, and now let's go to the actual cars maybe. Nope, not the cars here, that's the quick race area, guess what, you also have quick race. Let's go to the multiplayer, where you can also see these selections, you can choose the mode, classic elimination or infected. Brazil, Brazil Reverse, China or Nevada, Mini Cooper or Alfa Romeo are available here. Let's go with a Mini Cooper this time and race again. So I already found some racers, you're getting ratings, you can get some power-ups and start the race. I'm very surprised by the graphics here and by how fun the game can be. You can upgrade your car in four aspects, acceleration, top speed, handling and nitro. You'll get credits for performing those achievements that are signaled by stars as well. My only complaint is maybe the control when doing the nitro and when hitting a wall. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with what the game offers. And guess what? You can even change the camera. Just change the camera once to a fixed view, then a close view. Immersive, which is not my favorite. Okay, so right now I'm racing against real people, maybe against you. Almost knocked that guy out. Very fast little Mini Cooper. If I'm not mistaken, I have upgraded it. 
that's why it's so fast unless these guys in front of me back to differ scoring a perfect run without hitting anything gives you an extra boost of nitro us will do the drift and pulling various stunts so let's do a crazy flip or maybe not some of those ramps are not placed smartly and uh, remember this is an elimination game so if I'm last when the time runs out that will suck for me okay, so maybe next time take a shortcut because it isn't going to end well wasting my night away nine seconds left and I'll probably the, be the black sheep that gets eliminated which I really am Okay, so one of my favorite modes has to be not elimination, but rather knockdown. I love to knock out cards. One of my favorite modes in the end. So only a few coins, not much here. But if you race a thousand times, you get a decent car. So let's maybe try and check out those uh, cards. As you can see here, we got car packs that you can buy, boxes of stuff, promotions. Here is a beautiful Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X, the Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren P1, totally drooling over them. Tuning, you can also do a bit of tuning here. You can upgrade your car in aspects like acceleration, top speed, handling, and nitro. Those are being done with special playing cars that you can achieve during the game. And then you can paint your car. At least this one is for free, last I checked. Okay, so that's the game in a nutshell and let's see what's happening here. It's a Nissan Championship, Holiday Meet, yet another Holiday Meet, so lots of events. There's a wide community and support for this title which I love. So Asphalt Nitro is the game to play if you have a lower end device. However, I remember playing Asphalt 8 on uh, Nokia N1, so I imagine that this plays even better on such a handset. So let's go to Nevada and Mini again and one last piece of race. I'm going to go ahead and say the grade. Asphalt Nitro gets from AndroidPipe.com a solid 8.6 out of 10. It's not the perfect racing game, it's also not the worst racing game ever, and in some aspects it keeps the core spirit of Asphalt. I frankly prefer it to Asphalt Overdrive that changed the genre. And for a 25 megabyte game to look so good, that takes some doing. So 8.6 out of 10 here at AndroidPipe.com too bad we only have two songs in the background, at least you can have fun with the actual gameplay, not the music. Hope you enjoyed the review and be sure to watch other reviews. 8.6 out of 10 for Asphalt Nitro. Bye bye.